trying to show the blue sky without showing the top of my next client's house. <laughs> but I'm here and I just assembled a super simple metal gazebo from Wayfair. I did not do a very good job estimating the time, but that's okay because my two o'clock texted me last night to come in earlier and I said I'll rush over there as soon as the gazebo is done. Turned out the gazebo is easy, so I'm already here. So I only have a 10.30 and a 12.30. <laughs> Someone has the hiccups. Hi, cutie. My shoes are making the squeakiest noise. This is the brand I get. I heard this is good, but they only have chicken. I'm like wiped out over here. I'm getting these for sure. Still wearing my apron, but I installed a gate spring just now that took me i don't know maybe 10 minutes or so super easy easy to adjust um and it was pretty close by so i have nothing to do for about two and a half hours until my 12 o'clock job i don't know why i always think things are gonna take a long time the hinges on this uh fence was like this is super long one so i was like am i gonna have enough of a vertical or like a steep angle to install the spring so that it works so i was kind of worried that i'm gonna have to like keep adjusting it but it was fine okay how bomb does that look i made that recipe that i made at my relative's house again how bomb does that look oh my god so beautiful today <laughs> I really need to get an extension cord so I can hook up my hair dryer to the wall when I go back to do another layer of mud for this patching job I had. Because uh, I don't want to get a, a cordless heat gun. I just use my blow dryer. I got this at the market and I wanted to shop for more stuff but I have to go to this job in like an hour. Crispy! You know when it's not a safe place to park when you got... You see that? There's shards of glass on the ground. <laughs> Waiting on the client to respond. But I got my passport in the mail. That took like two, three weeks. What a bummer. It's a cancellation. I've never had this no response thing. Uh, in a while. Actually, I think it did happen a couple months ago. Here in Washington. I think clients don't realize that if they don't respond and I'm here already and they don't say anything, I don't think they realize they're gonna get charged something <laughs> because I was there. I made all the efforts. Uh, but I was like hoping to get at least two hours from this job, so that's okay. Uh, who made a mess of their food? <laughs> it's a bunch of dog food everywhere. Hello, I'm back. Oh, by the way, I forgot to say, my first client, um, she, I was like fixing a curtain rod that fell off the wall. Um, Cause the anchors were like super short. The screws were super short. Everything was so tiny for how long the curtain rod was gonna be. And the curtain itself was so heavy. It was one panel, but it was like, custom made wide enough to fit the entire wide ass window so they had the th center bracket she's like we want to take that off we're just going to do two brackets and i was like i really don't recommend that just because if usually i always say just 40 inches but i'm not sure if exactly how what the measurements are but like if the curtain rod is obviously too long or is really long they give you 
a third bracket. So I was like, you know, she's like, well, I only have one panel. We can't close it all the way if we have the center bracket. And I said, okay, well, just keep in mind that it's not gonna be very secure. But, and there was like a baby too. But I mean, after I put them up and everything, it didn't feel that bad. It was definitely kind of like going like this, but it was three bars and the middle bar really didn't extend that much. So I think she should be fine. Let me do a Daiso haul. So I wanna make um, this thing that I saw on YouTube, uh, but it's like a trend recipe on TikTok. And it's, uh, it's like a healthy dip with like cucumber and beans and peaches and uh, mangoes and then you take it, you eat it with like a tortilla chip. So I got a big giant bowl for that. Look at it, I got this at the dollar store. Well actually I think it was like $4 or something. Yeah, three seventy five, dollars which is not that bad for this big. I also got some instant rice. I don't have a rice cooker. And I got a hat for like when I go walking. I just realized I don't have any hats that are like thin and light. So I just got a cheap ass one. I wanted to say something because the completely blank looks weird, but it says, are you ready? <laughs> I just got done with my screen door job. That was so much harder than I expected. Like I got it done in like a little under two hours and then everything just went downhill from there it was like as soon as i looked at it from the inside of the because i thought the door was locked um so i was just working on the outside but as soon as i looked at it from the inside i had to make so many adjustments and then i uh installed the latch and i was like it didn't smoothly close like you had to push it one last time and then i was like duh because i gotta chisel the latch or chisel the strike plate yeah Anyway, I, yeah, so I had to like adjust all of the outside channels and then the bottom sill expander or something. I had to redo that and oh my gosh, I don't know what I was thinking. Hi, baby. Hi. You're so lucky. It is so hot outside, like so almost feels like California oven, um, but it's nice and cool in here for some reason. I don't know why. It's amazing. And I had a little bit of the window open for Shugudu. Think of my shine. Anyway, I am filthy. I'm filthy. I was doing a ceiling drywall patching and I wasn't look watching or something. I'm exhausted, by the way. Uh, a little bit of mud just fell right on my sleeve. And I'm just so dirty and I'm stinky and oh my God. It was another long day that I did not expect it to be. Hello everyone. I've not filmed in a while, but I have been working um, pretty much every single day as usual, just a couple hours, have had a lot of reschedules, uh, no response job that happened also, but I have been working and assembling stuff, getting things fixed, patching stuff, doing a lot of drywall patching, like that requires actual patches, not just like filling up holes with spackle. I'm going to... <sighs> Put away, ooh, there's a spider. You know, when it gets to be super hot, the spiders come back. I saved this jar for spiders. Here he is, hello, I'm gonna let him out. Honestly, I just noticed another spider, but it's really small and it's not moving, so I'm just gonna let it go. I got a blood blister, you see that? Because I poke myself, but anyway. Yeah, I've been getting a lot of drywall jobs. I think the algorithm knows that I accept them and then it just keeps popping up. And with bigger drywall jobs, like when I use these patches, which are great, rather than like cutting the drywall sheet to size and all that, it takes so much, it's so much faster and the mesh and everything is really flat and it lays flat because it has an adhesive on the other side. I think regular tape does too. Like, um, they come in this size, this size, and the big mama size. Um, I also bought 
this i think i talked about home depot for like 16 dollars because i was like if i buy the plastic for half the price i'm probably gonna crack it and it's done for but this thing is so heavy i want something a little smaller but like a durable material i bought three inch drywall screws i had these like three inch construction screws but i don't like this part where it doesn't have or it's not threaded i want it all threaded in case i don't use it just for like one purpose but i couldn't find anything i don't know if that exists also yeah this tape this mesh tape is also sticky but it's not as sticky as the patches so i'd rather use this than do this but obviously i'm going to keep this i already used some for bigger jobs in the future that i want to practice getting better at um but yeah more stuff but i purchased that second drill and i forgot i had this bag because i've been putting all my painting stuff in this new and improved uh, not new and improved newer uh ziploc bag that had a dress that i ordered from amazon in it but it's already ripped and um this way i can put stuff and i can like actually i don't think the loop is big enough for this for my bag but at least it'll just be more sturdy meow 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 stuff i gotta return these i'm gonna try to organize this is the after that's all my painting and drywall stuff my usual tools my extra stuff like this is new already mixed compound um i already have another tub an old tub there i'm gonna use that after that's finished and this is like excess but i bring it with me because it's not really excess, I guess. Like WD-40, I don't need it all the time. But sometimes they'll be like, oh, can you look at this? I'm like, oh, I'm glad I have WD-40 in there. Like, there's goo gone in here somewhere. Calm down a bit. You alright? I did it! Feels so amazing. I did look down with the scuba gear. There's nothing in the water. fish they are but I just saw some fishes. They're stripy and different shapes. Oop, that's my boot. <laughs> so glad I went. Come on, so glad I went in the water. I'm so proud of myself.